Hello, this is Julie Hall with Analysis Place. Welcome to our Excel to Word document automation add-in. Today I'm going to share with you how to quickly get started by using our sample content. First, we'll need to add the add-in into Excel. We'll go to add-ins on the home page, then choose get add-ins. We'll search for Excel to Word. Go ahead and add. Then you'll need to agree to terms and conditions before continuing. And then you'll see that the add-in will appear in the right task panel. And then you'll also see the icon up here. The add-in will initially open to the start page. Scroll down. You'll want to insert sample content. It'll open up a new spreadsheet. And then if you scroll down, you'll see some areas where you can input. Then we'll be able to see changes. So I'm going to change users to 50 and my customer name to new. And this is set up to just do this page only, so it's not a large um, file for you. So go ahead and submit. If you'd want to change it to submit everything, you can go ahead and uncheck this checkbox. Next in Word, we will need to add the add-in as well. So we'll go to add-ins, get add-ins, Go ahead and search for Excel to Word. Add, agree to terms and conditions, continue, and the add-in will open up. And then we'll go to the start page. We'll want to insert sample content. And then because we've already sent our information from Excel, we can go ahead and update it in Word. We'll choose Update Document. And then as we scroll down here, we can see that the changes have been made. We have a new customer name, new, and our numbers have also been updated. And you'll also notice that only seven items have updated. That is because we only sent the first sheet from Excel. We hope this video has helped to show you how our sample content can be updated between Excel and Word. If you have any further questions, please let us know.